Okay, uh, the first video is going to be Super Nudge Gambler, and this is going to be a, a shout out for Amanda, which is my good friend Craig Craig Tompkinson's or Tomo Tomo's Classics is Mrs. Who was very patient with us when they uh, they was in the Armouth and they came to visit me the other day, and she even got the uh, won the gamble on the Get Lucky machine, which I've been trying to do for the last six seven months however long i've had it she likes the old machines so i guess she likes the old people as she's with craig <laughs> only kidding she's lovely and she was very patient with us and we were talking a load of shit and we spent ages on the machines here and at home so but of course he didn't play any because i ain't got a license he just looked at the flashing lights i played them on his behalf I love the way that does that. So, yeah, Amanda. I know you had a little go on this one and you, you quite liked it. Quite simple electrical mechanical machine. Yeah, anyone watching this, I, I would still like a nice bottom glass if, ever, if one ever turns up or anyone's got one hiding somewhere. Always cash swaps or whatever waiting. But I... I, I I know it's unlikely because then <coughs> most of them are bad. But this is certainly a far better bottom glass than what the machine came with, that is for sure. So, but obviously it's a little bit dodgy around the real bottoms. So yeah, Super Nudge Gambler, the original electrical mechanical one. It's funny really because these come out what in the late seventies. I mean we say eighties, but these these are oh yeah. You gotta go for it, ain't you? <laughs> uh that one. Ah they jump all over the place. Oh there you go. Yeah, and I do expect the odd real slippage from where I apologise. My lack of maintenance on these is a bit shocking, really. They all need to be... Uh... So there you go, we've got the pan. We've got the jackpot. <clears throat> so. Yeah, what I was saying was, these, I mean, these come out in the late 70s. And these were still in arcades in the early 2000s, weren't they? So they was definitely through the 80s, and I reckon they only scrapped them when new stock come in, when they had no space for these. Because I think they, they're pretty reliable. And certainly as, as kids and teenagers, the, these were very much a part of all that. <laughs> I mean, these were in chip shops and cafes galore, weren't they? And I know that arcade in green. <coughs> <coughs> oh, Stardust, the Stardust arcade in green had these way into the 2000s. They, in fact, they had these alongside them types. They had, they had them, you know, both types. They ain't got any now, but. Most, most, not all, but most collectors I know has got one of these. Or the nudge, or the, the nudge gambler with that. The only difference is it's got um, a real hold. So you can do that, you see. That's the only difference. <laughs> The only noise you get, as you know, is that uh, uh, when you're nudging, that's only noise. It's got a little buzzer in the top corner. Electrical mechanical buzzer. I'll go for that. So there's like one chance there, another chance there. 
Uh, who knows? Ah. Yeah, these just sit there quietly, don't they? And they, they kind of attract your attention in their own way. Hmm. And obviously most of these were quickly put onto all cash. And this one as well. All you had to do was put the wires across from the token to the uh, cash, uh, cash tube. And that's what most of them did. I mean, 50p and <laughs> 50p and a pound in tokens. But they, these have their own appeal. They do have their own appeal. And certainly nostalgia and quirkiness and all the rest of it. Hmm. There's certainly a lot more into these than there is the early MPU ones as in components. <clears throat> But obviously with no batteries or anything to worry about. Well, there's, there's no MPU in these. Timers, cams, switches. Right, uh, I can see the melon, but if the bell's above it, I'm buggered. So one, two, three, four. I need five nudges. <laughs> it happens, it happens. I needed five nudges. Yeah, if you, if you guys come down again, you have to. We can come down here, and like I said, you, you're more than welcome to come and stay at the house, have a weekend. I've got a king size bed and all that. Have a few beers, play a few machines. Well, I'll, I'll play the machines you can watch. The reels are in really good condition on this. They're lovely and white. I know the paper, but yeah, they are. They're, they're lovely and white. Like I say, all it is is that bottom glass. It's just right round here. I don't know if some of you will remember the original bottom glass. I've still got it in here, so it's in here somewhere, and that's that's a way worse. <laughs> but it's one of them. It's doubtful I'll get one, but it's always worth an ask. I mean, these have got nice colours, so it's kept it's got nice colours on there. I think the conversions spent more money on their, their glass and artwork than bell fruit. <clears throat> yeah, it's a little bit, that, that's all. I kind of, I can live with little faults like that as long, you know, as long as the coins go in, I can sort of... I'll have the eight nudges. Ooh, go on. <laughs> Tube's full, so it must be ready to pay out. <laughs> yeah, so I've got a week off work now. <clears throat> now. This is basically to get this machine swapped on. And a couple of days down there and a couple of days in uh, Western. Then I'm off to Collins as well, so I might do another video of the uh, loads of money if anyone's interested in that. I won't be bringing it home because I'll have a machine in the car. I'll have the, the machine I'm picking up from my head in the car, but I'm staying there for a night on the way back. 
month uh, I might as well cop a video of the uh, road some money while I'm there again I've uh, just sent the coin mech off for the action pack so the plan when that comes back will be to swap that over at some point on the old nudge timer, the holder nudge timer. I'll be the one. Would anyone else hold that? I mean is there a strategy to this game or not? I don't know. I mean, I used to play these, but I wouldn't say I didn't certainly didn't know the real orders, and I didn't, certainly didn't think there was any. Oh, there's already a credit in there because these are single credit, aren't they? Without remembering as well. <coughs> so I do. Uh, my regular viewers like these kind of machines or are you more into the uh, the early sort of MPU driven machines and find these I don't know a little bit old I mean I find it don't, don't get me wrong I find these old but I just seem to remember them still being in arcades into the 2000s so they stretched like over 10 years in, from what I can sort of remember So even if you're in your sort of mid-30s, early 40s, the chances are you would have come across these in our case, whether you played them or not, it's another matter, isn't it? But Ooh. Like I say, it's a little bit tight on these nudges. <clears throat> But that can be rectified because there's an, a, like a, a nudge stroke hold timer. So obviously, because you obviously you can't have a situation where it's giving you nudges and holds. <clears throat> so it'll do one or the other <clears throat> on a timer that basically goes around. And when when the last reel stops, it stops the timer. And if it stops on a nudge or stops on a hold, it'll offer you or stops on nothing, like it does most of the time. And you can connect more wires. Uh, da, 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 da. Is the melon there? Is the melon there? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, if I go that first, I'll go the middle one first. <laughs> so, yeah, <clears throat> yeah, by connecting more, more links, you can make these more generous. But you can make them over generous where they just give you constant nudges and holds all the time and you can empty the machine. That'd be, that'd be a bit too much. You just want to, you just want to sort of a balanced game. <clears throat> oh, it's a shame that it's jumping a bit there, but I have to sort that out. <clears throat> Not like that. <laughs> oh. No, it's no good, is it? I'm going to have to sort this one out. <clears throat> it's just, just generally needs, needs the solenoids on the top cleaning out. Bit of maintenance. It's not normal. The solenoids are not normally faulty. They're only they're 50 volt kind of. What it is is <clears throat> what I find is they get dirty in, inside where the plunger goes, and I just uh, you just need a little bit of sandpaper on a, on a bit of a stick, almost on a cotton bud, but something a little bit bigger. But you can just sort of wish out inside and give it a bit of a clean out with a cloth. 
to make the 50 volt contact a bit better. That's what I do, and it seems to. But obviously, it takes a bit of time because you've got to take them, you've got to take the bloody things off, <coughs> and the spring and all that kind of stuff. So it's like a, it's I don't know hours work or something. I mean, it stops okay. It's just slipping on nudges. I don't mind the odd like one sort of position slip, but when it's when it's sort of flinging them around, like that, <laughs> you can't have that. Anyway, all the jobs on my list, add into my list. Anyway, Amanda, I don't know whether you're still watching or not, or whether you've fallen asleep. Oh, here we go again. Probably now, I don't know what it's going to do. It's unpredictable now, isn't it? Um, let's go. Okay. So it was okay that time, but because it's <coughs> because it flung them round before, I'm kind of like, some pretty. I'm going to hold them all in case I get a nudge. <laughs> and again, I think it's worth a risk for five p. Oh, it's like nudges now, you see. I mean, there you go. Anyway, oh, is that faster than the last time? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> right, we've got five nudges. Do, 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 do. I don't know the real order, you see. All right, we'll go for a re spin. worth holding two of a kind I guess so especially when the bell fruits are close it's one of these machines and it, 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 it doesn't do a lot yet it does so much it's weird I could just stand here and play this all day mind you I say that about every machine I know I know I know <laughs> that's what I'd all I do <clears throat> if I didn't have to work for a living <laughs> I'd be, I'd be down here all day, every day, it wouldn't bother me at all. That machine's at home, I like the machine's at home as well. I've got to think whether I'm going to have any more in the house. Because I've got 24 and I, so I can have another 6 in the house on the agreement with the landlady, so... Whether I'm going to... At the moment I'm not, but if some... Because actually, I've got quite a bit of room down here now. So, or I could give up the Galston unit and move all that stuff over here. But I don't know. I'm still, I'm still quite happy with the idea that I keep all the rubbish over there. And keep they keep this as tidy as I can. <laughs> Auto nudge. No trap mode. So that was before they come up with lit buttons. I put it there, didn't I? Hmm. Alright, that's a couple of coins. Amanda and Craig. Hope you I hope you enjoyed your sort of time in Yarmouth and your your week away. Or five days, whatever it was. It's a shame that we couldn't have gone for a few drinks and a meal or something, but uh, these things, it was nice to meet you and have a, have a chat and and all the rest of it. It was absolutely good. Um, like I say, you're welcome to stay at mine next time and save yourself hotel fees or whatever. <coughs> I might plan on coming down to your, down your way at some point as well. Right. Three nudges.
Oh. You just know it's going to do that, don't you? Anyway. Well done, I. <clears throat> and there you go. Let's hope the other ones behave better. <laughs> That's Super Nugs Gambler, Bell Fruit Original. For Amanda and Craig, and have a nice day.